Hey peeps, it's Aldo from Zero to Mastery, and in today's tutorial, we're diving into the print line macro in Rust. Now, this isn't just any tutorial, it's part of Jason Lennon's comprehensive Rust programming bootcamp course available on Zero to Mastery. So, if you want to learn Rust from the ground up, click the link in the top right hand corner or check out the description below for the full course. All right, without further ado, let me hand it over to Jason. Enjoy! In this video, I'll be covering the print line macro. Macros are similar to functions, except instead of running code, they expand into more code. The print line macro prints or displays information to the terminal. So this would mean when we use print line, it expands into additional code, and that code will print information onto the terminal. And this could be useful for debugging. Here in this code example, we're creating a variable named life and setting the value to 42. We then use the print line macro print ln with the exclamation point at the end. The exclamation point indicates that we're using a macro instead of a function. We then have parentheses just like we do with the function and then our data inside. Our data in this case is the string hello. So this means when the print line macro is called, hello will be printed to the terminal. Next, we have a print line with this sequence of tokens. This sequence of tokens indicates that we're able to take some external value and include it within the macro. So what we're doing is we're taking this variable life, placing it right here, and then it's available for usage here in this specific token. All of the tokens start and end with curly braces. So we have the opening curly brace and the closing curly brace. We use a colon followed by a question mark to indicate we want to do a debug print. And a debug print is just whatever text that you want to see as a developer, and it's not meant to be seen by end users of your application. We're able to use the debug print as many times as we like. And so here we're using it twice, and then we use the variable life both times. This means that our third invocation of the print line macro will print out 42, followed by a space, and then 42. It's possible to mix and match any characters that we would like. So here on this last invocation, we're going to print out a short phrase. The meaning is, and then this will be 42, because we're pulling 42 out of the life variable. It's also possible to directly use variables within our string here. So instead of having to have a comma and then additional things, we can just include the variable name, our colon, and then our question mark. And here on our second invocation, we don't have a colon question mark. So that would indicate that this is printing out the end user display version instead of the debug version. So colon question mark is for debugging. And then you can just take that part off for end user display. Let's do a quick recap. Macros use an exclamation point to call or invoke. When you invoke a macro, additional Rust code will be generated. To print things onto the terminal, we can use the print line macro. And to supply variable data to the macro, we can use the opening and closing curly braces. And within it, we can have a colon question mark, or we can use the variable name followed by colon question mark. And there you have it, folks. A big shout out to Jason for guiding us through this tutorial. If this lecture sparked your interest, there's a whole lot more to learn in Jason's complete Rust programming bootcamp course, linked in the top right hand corner and in the description down below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on future tutorials from Jason and other expert Zero to Mastery instructors. All right, that's it from me. Keep coding, keep exploring, and I'll see you in the next video.